In this problem, we are given a 26 character key which says what should be substituted for A, what should be substituted for B, what should be substituted for C, and so on all the way till Z. In this case, for example, A is substituted with N, B is substituted with Q, and so on. So I'm including all the libraries first. While I do that, you can smash that like button. I'm going to say int argc string argv. And over here, I'm going to check if args is not to number of strings in argv is not two, then we must return an error message. I'm going to print f this backslash n and I'm going to return one. If it so happens that we also need to validate key, validate the key, check is valid key argv of one is going to represent the key over here. So we're going to check if the key is valid. If it's not valid, then we are going to return one and we're going to print F this error message. The error message over here should be key must contain 26 characters. So we're going to print that. After this, we can perform our conversion. So, so substituting plain text into cipher text. But before doing that, before doing this operation, what should we do here is we must write this function out again. So let's say bool is valid key and bool is valid key. This is going to take in a string string s. I'm going to check if s is a valid key. So to do that, I'm going to first take a variable len and initialize it using this function sterlen of s. What sterlen does is it calculates the length of the string and include the string.h library where sterlen is defined. After doing that, if it so happens that length is not 26, I must return false. So for a valid key, the length should be equal to 26. So if the length is 26, we move forward. We move forward, we, we iterate over the string and we check if s of i, if it is an alphabet. If it's not an alphabet, then we can return false. Okay. Is alpha is present in the library c type dot h. So after doing this, this function seems to be complete, but there's one error. What if we are given duplicate keys? According to the problem spec, we should not allow duplicate keys. So to do that, I'm going to take a variable called frequency. I'm going to count the frequency, okay? So how do we do that? Let me explain. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take an array called frequency and I'm going to count the number of times A is present, the number of times B is present, the number of times C is present and so on all the way till Z. Okay. So I need a 26, I need a size 26 array called frequency and I'm going to initialize all of these things, all of these blocks with zero. So to do that, I'm going to define a frequency array of size 26 and I'm going to initialize all of these blocks with zeros, right? After having done that, what I'll do is I'll keep on counting every single letter. So if I figure out, if I find that S of I is A, if S of I is A, then I'm going to increment this part and I'm going to increment it by one. So this becomes one. If I find another A, so if S of I is again A, I increment this one to two and so on and so forth, okay? So what I need to do here is I need to essentially count the number of repetitions 
number of times the character appears. So I'm going to say S of I minus capital A and then I'm going to also convert this into an uppercase letter to upper. So why do I need to do this? Because the key can be a lowercase a but I'm storing only uppercase letters over here. I'm only I'm considering lowercase a and uppercase a as the same thing. So what I need to do is I need to convert s of i into uppercase and then I need to apply this operation where I increment the value of this box by one. So to do that I need to and to say what do I need to say? I need to say frequency of s of i minus capital A and I need to convert this into uppercase okay so I'm gonna write frequency to upper s of i minus a plus plus now you know what I need to check if this entire thing let's call this index now int index equals this and then I'm say if the index if frequency of the index is greater than Z what it means is that I've already encountered such a character so if I come here and if I find let's say this at this index if I don't find 0 and if I find something greater than 0 like 1 then I know that my key must have repeated letters like this for example Okay, so I'm going to say if index is of frequency at this index is greater than zero, I'm going to return false. And I'm going to also increment the frequency array at this index. Okay, so how this, this works is every single time, let's say my key is BOB. Let's say my key is BAB. Okay, what's happening here is I am iterating over the string and I'm coming here and I'm incrementing the frequency array. I'm coming over here and incrementing this guy. I'm coming over here and incrementing this. But before incrementing this, what I see is that frequency at the index, so frequency at this index is greater than zero. So I know there's a repetition here which is not allowed. So the validity of the key has failed. So I return false. So after doing all this, if there is no problem, then I can finally return true, okay? So this completes one part of the problem, which is to validate the key. So once the key is validated, we take the input from the user. We say get string, plain text, and after doing that, we need to convert this plain text into cipher text. Okay. For in zero just lower this guy i equals zero i less than comma len equals sterling of s i less than len i plus plus so now what should happen is i must convert the letter by its substitute so to do that, there are many ways of doing this, okay? But one of the ways that I've thought of doing this is to take the key, to take the difference. So for example, if the key is, let's say, A gets converted into B, the key says, if this is the key, okay? B something, something, something. If I want A to be substituted with B, what I'll do is I'll create a difference array and I will store the value of key, the ith key minus the letter that it corresponds to. So this index corresponds to capital A. Okay. So what I'll do is I'll subtract key of i from, I'll subtract a from key of i. Then I'll subtract. So essentially what I'm doing here is just to be clear, what I'm doing here is if the key is this guy, then what I'll do is I'll create a difference array. This is my key, this is the difference. 
what I do here is I will take whatever is in my key let's say B I'll subtract key of 0 from this okay so what I'll get at this position is the difference from the index 0 or the letter A so essentially what I'm doing is A needs to be replaced by B so I store in my difference thing the difference array B minus A okay so after this is done what I'll do when I'm trying to convert my plain text into cipher text what I'll do is I'll take if I find A then I'll add this difference or even if I find this guy I'll add this difference which is stored in this index okay and so what's going to happen is if you cancel these two things out when you add them you cancel these two things out and you're left with B so effectively what happens is that either capital A or lowercase a gets converted into the required letter so I'll code this up things will get much more clear so I go here I say if the ith letter is an alphabet is alpha s of i okay if the ith letter is an alphabet and what I do here is I convert my s of i so what I do is I add the difference I add some difference to this thing okay so to do this what I'm going to do here is I'm going to say I'm going to create another string called difference which is just a char character array and that's rv of 1 now what I'll do is I'll just say I'll iterate from i equals a to i less than z or equal to z i plus plus and I'll say difference of i is equal to difference sorry difference of i minus a equals difference of i minus a minus i okay so what I'm doing here is I'm taking whatever is in this key this key over here so for example if the first letter over here is J what this does is it takes J minus a okay so I'm storing the difference here and finally whenever I'll get down here whenever I'll get this a is going to be substituted by J right if a is going to be substituted by J over here I'm storing J minus a over here the difference and then what I'm doing here whenever I find a over here I add to that the difference whenever s of i is a for example I add to that the difference which is going to be the corresponding difference which is going to be j minus a okay, so what's going to happen here is that this a will be cancelled by this a because a minus a is zero and I'll be finally be left with j so that is the idea but before doing that I need to convert the key to uppercase just for just because the key can also be given in a lowercase format so just to be extra sure I'm converting this key into uppercase so for doing that what I need to do here is I need to add that difference so what I do here is I say s of i this was this is s of i for example plus the difference the corresponding difference is going to be what where where I'm going to find this I'm going to find it at s of i minus it's either going to be capital A or it's going to be lowercase a all depends on whether I'm looking at whether s of i whether s of i is upper or lower okay so I'm saying it's upper so where will I find this I find it in c type dot h so I'm in this I'm saying give me the current character 
do that, I'm going to add the corresponding difference. To get that, what I'm going to do is, I am going to take whatever character I have, this capital A, which is 65, let's say, I'm going to subtract either capital A or lowercase a, so that I get the corresponding difference. So how is this working? Let's take H for example. If the, my plain text is hello, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to add to this the difference which is stored in this array, difference array, at location 7. So how do I get 7? Because H is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So it's going to be stored somewhere over here. So to access that difference, what I have to do is, I need to subtract either capital A or lowercase a from S of I, which is, so that I get from the 65 starting index 65 to starting index 0. So I subtract that to get the proper index and then I add that to my current S of I and then I can print I can print that S of I after converting it. So I convert it over here and then I can print the S percent C S of I after doing the conversion. Okay, so I'm changing S of I over here, and then I'm printing it over here. Now for doing this, I can just print F backslash N. Okay, so let's make substitution and see whether this works or not. Okay, so is valid key? We must declare it on top. make substitution cipher text must semicolon and then this should work let's try out certain things uses this guy okay what if I say this over here and I type in hello yes this seems to be working what if I give one more example Hello world. Yeah, it seems to be working. I can check 50 on this. I can run check 50 on this. So while this is happening, let me try to explain what I've done here. Try to summarize this. So what I've done is, is I, I first counted the number of arguments that I got from the user. And then what I did was I found out whether the key that is entered by the user is valid or not. If it's valid, if it's not valid, I am going to print this. And if it's valid, I'm going to move on. I'm going to ask for the plain text. I'm going to then calculate the difference. So for every corresponding letter, I'm going to find the difference and then I'm simply going to add that difference back when I find that letter. The small bug, this should be less than or equal to Z. Let me run check 50 once more. And how do I, the logic for valid key is I start off calculating the length of the string. If it's not 26, I return false. Otherwise, I calculate the frequency of every single letter in my key, and I figure out whether there's a repetition in any of the letters. If, the re if there is rep a repetition, I return false. Otherwise, I return true. And the error over here was a small bug, which was that I should be less than or equal to Z. It should go all the way through Z. As you can see, we've got all correct. So, like, share, and subscribe. And also, if you find solutions other than what I have given here, please do comment down below. Peace.